What are you doing? Uh, just took Max to the preschool. I had to get some semblance of order around here. You know, it's just amazing what a little teeny person can turn a household into total chaos. Felicia. I didn't want to leave this mess with Bobby. She doesn't deserve that. You know, she works very hard. You know, I've been waiting for you. You were supposed to meet me at Kelly's. Yeah. I guess I kind of slipped my mind. Come on, you're stalling, aren't you? You're having second thoughts about investigating Jessica's murder. No, I'm not. Well, maybe I am a little. Uh, a lot. What's the problem? Mac, what if we're right? What if Sean is confessing because he really wants to protect Tiffany? Then we'll prove his innocence. And then Tiffany goes to prison. Can we live with that? Can you live with the fact that Sean's going to take a die for committing a crime he didn't do? It's a knowing situation. Look, I know. Okay. Look, I've done a lot of thinking about it myself, all night as a matter of fact. Felicia, I honestly believe that no matter how it ends up, we've got to find out the truth. doing here well your mother went to the market she asked me if i would come in and get you up in time for your class well i've got an alarm clock for that hey come on i'm just doing you a favor hmm? you know when you were a kid i used to wake you up a lot and you always used to thank me for it Especially when your mother would have trouble getting up in the morning. The only trouble she had, Ray, was you. You'd always just get her drunk so she didn't know what you were doing. Well, you know, your mother was perfectly capable of getting blitzed without any help from me. No, that wasn't the way it was. Well, that's how I remember it. <laughs> I, I remember I used to get you up and get you fed and... I even used to help you pick out your clothes for school. And I even helped you get dressed. Remember? You know, I can still do that, Carrie. I haven't lost my touch. Get out. You never used to say that to me. 
I said, get out right now. I swear I'll tell her everything, Ray. Well, we both know that that's not going to happen, Carrie. Right? Because how would you explain it to her? I mean, you haven't said anything in all these years. Shut up! You know, you could really save yourself a lot of grief if you would just admit the truth. That it's always what you wanted. That's the truth, Carrie, and you know it. thinking a lot of what you told me yesterday. About what? About my boxing. About how I should think about myself for once. Did I say that? Yes, you did. Contrary to public opinion, there are times where I actually hear what you say. Good. You know, if you put some serious time into this, Jagger, I think you could have a great boxing career. I do. We'll see. But you know, all work and no play is not good either. I mean, you don't want to wear yourself out. You know, I really think that you should take some quality time for yourself today. Quality time? Mm -hmm. With me. I told Ruby I'd be working a double shift today. Can't. All right, and I guess I'll study then. And you can work. And then, hey, maybe we can catch a movie later. That's a plan. Hey, guys. Hey, what's up? Hey. Want some breakfast? Um, OJ and a blueberry muffin, please. Okay. I'll get the juice. Thanks. You're welcome. So is your brother starting school today? No, he's got other plans. Is this all you want? Yeah, I'm not real hungry. Oh, I can imagine with everything that's going on. Are you okay? No, this whole thing is just awful. I can't believe you saw a dead body. I mean, not just a dead body. She was murdered. I'd be so freaked out. Yeah, well, it gets worse. Tiffany's in the hospital, and she hasn't said a word since it happened. And they won't even let me see her. They mention you in the papers. I know your name or anything. It's just that there was a juvenile witness. Yeah, great, huh? I get to tell the police how I walked in on Uncle Sean, kneeling over her body. Maybe you should have just lied. Brenda. What? I mean, she shouldn't have to testify against her own godfather. <clears throat> I don't have a choice. I mean, besides the fact that I have to tell the truth, my Uncle Sean insisted that I tell them exactly what I saw. <sighs> I don't care what I saw or what the evidence is. I just cannot believe he murdered anybody. So you did all you had to do. I'm sure Sean will understand. Okay. Robin, look. I want you to know that we're here for you if you need us, okay? Thanks. So what really happened? What do you mean? Well, I mean between Sean and the assistant DA. There must have been something going on. You know, a love triangle or a crime of passion or something. Come on, you can tell me. I'm trying to get a copy of the police report to see what kind of evidence they got from uh, Sean's hotel room. Can Thank you, you do that? Well, if you know the right people and uh, keep it under your hat. I'm waiting for a friend of mine to call me from the department. I guess if it'll help. Felicia, this is our best shot. Okay, now, Sean is not going to tell us the truth. I mean, we saw his reaction just when we suggested that his confession didn't track. That's why I said having second thoughts about this. You made it perfectly clear that he did not want us involved. Look, if it were you, if it were me, and the situation were reversed, what do you think he'd do? He's already done it. He's put his life and his career on the line to prove that I was innocent. I know. Matt, he was just so adamant about everything. If he finds out that we're digging up information after he politely asks us not to... He's, he's not thinking straight, okay? His mind is on Tiffany. And Tiffany's mind? God only knows. I, I love them. He's like a father to me. I know, and that is why we can't let their lives come crashing down like this. It's so complicated. Look, I don't like going against Sean's wishes any more than you do. But 
you're going to do it anyway. Hey, we're not going to scream it from the rooftops. Okay, you and I, we're going to quietly and discreetly ask certain questions. And now we're going to finally get to the bottom of this. Then what? Once we have the facts, we'll figure something out. Maybe there's a way out of this mess where neither of them will get hurt. You think so? We won't know unless we try. I'm gonna go get my things, go downstairs. I'll be back. All right, I'll be uh, waiting at Kelly's. You know, the longest time I always wanted to be a private investigator. This isn't what I had in mind. Really talk about this now. Can we talk about this tonight? Okay. Okay, fine. All right, thanks. Bye bye. What was that about? What was what about? Something about tonight? Oh, nothing special. Just a colleague. I hope you haven't forgotten we've got tickets for the opera. Tonight? It's for Othello. We've had tickets for months. Well, no wonder I forgot. I. Gosh, I'm, I've got plans. Excuse me? Yes, well, that was what the call was about. Carl McCallum is speaking at the university. What, the heart surgeon? Yes, yes, he included poor Charles in his lecture tour. And how often do you get here to hear him talk? Well, what are we going to do with the tickets, Monica? I don't want to give them away. Oh, it's a shame, I know. I'll go to the lecture with you. <laughs> oh, come on, don't be silly. Ten minutes into that talk and you'd be sound asleep. Listen, I have got to go see another patient. Don't wait up for me tonight. I'm sorry, really, I am. From. Oh, grateful patient. Another patient? What are you doing for these patients, Monica? I'm, I'm gonna go get freshened up. See? General Hospital's most beautiful medic. You make my days brighter, so I wanted to brighten yours. Rod again. Where's your brother? Um, he split. He was lying to me. I busted him for that, and he couldn't handle it, so he took off. Where'd he go? Uh, he's working at this place, uh, the Paradise Lounge, where Crystal used to work. Oh, yeah. And he's working for this guy uh, named Sonny. Sonny. Yeah, we talked to him about Mike and Crystal. He said, I don't know nothing about nobody. Yeah, well, you know, I smelled something sleazy about that guy right from the top. Well, this sleazy guy is Mike's hero. Okay. Well, listen, I can talk to Mike if you want me to. Uh, don't worry about it. If, if he doesn't want to stay here, I can't force him to. Yeah, what a shame after everything you went through to find him. I forget it. Listen, I'll get you breakfast. Hey guys. Hi. I can't stay long. I've got school. Okay. Well, it's okay. You can hang out with us until you have to go. All right. So, how you doing? Okay, I guess. Look, Robin, I don't want to make this any harder on you than it has to be. But do you think you're up to talking about what happened with Sean? Sure, I can do that. Good. Okay. Now, the night you got to the hotel, you got off the elevator, and you walked down the hall to his room. Did you hear anything? No. Are you sure? It's a long way from the elevator to his room. Didn't hear anybody? Any, any arguing? I'm sure. Okay. Uh, Uncle Sean didn't have his voice raised, or uh, Jessica wasn't yelling? I'm positive. I mean, I would have remembered that. Okay. Okay, so you get to the door, and you open it. Well, it was cracked, so... Do you want to stop? Anyway, I pushed it open, and I saw Uncle Sean filming by Jessica, and he was holding that candlestick. Well, did it look like it just happened? Or had he been uh, kneeling there for a while? No, it just happened. At least that's how it looked to me. Well, how did Uncle Sean look? Did he look confused? Disoriented? 
Not at all. Was he upset or worked up or anything? No. He was really calm. That's really weird, isn't it? I never thought of that before. What's going on, you guys? How can we ask me all these questions? Uh, look, we're just trying to put all the pieces together, Robin, that's all. You don't believe him, do you? You don't think he did it, right? No, we don't know for sure. Oh, man, I thought I was the only one. I know he's innocent. He couldn't have done it. Well, you just listen to me for a minute now. We're a long way from knowing anything, so don't get your hopes up. I'm just glad you guys are trying. You know, anytime you need anything, I'm here, okay? Count on it. And don't forget, keep this between us, okay? Right. Hey, okay. I'm a Scorpio. That's for sure. <laughs> Oh, Hi, Gina. What, what are you doing here? I'm on my way to school. I thought I'd hear from you by now. Huh? About Mike. What about him? Well, you said that once you spent some time with him, he changed. You don't get back on track? I just wondered if he had. We've been dressing for an hour. We've been waiting for you for breakfast. Well, don't. I'm gonna go to work. Kelly's still a couple hours before class, so I'll get something to eat there. Ray made those great blueberry pancakes. Do you remember when you used to make those for us? No, Mom, I don't. Thanks, anyway. It's okay. Boy, you came home late last night. I think it was after 2 o'clock. Oh. Sorry if I woke you. You didn't. I just can't figure out where you're getting your energy these days. Working late at the hospital, keeping up your schoolwork. Kelly's on top of it. Well, I'm managing. Have you thought about maybe quitting that job at the hospital? Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you, Mother? That way I wouldn't have enough money to get my own apartment. I didn't say that. Cut it out, all right? I can see right through it. Here. I don't know what's wrong with us anymore. I just need my own life. Honey, you have a wonderful life. We both do finally. You've got college. I've got a steady job. Then why can't you just leave it alone, Mom? Why do you have to push so much? Because I'm afraid it's going to disappear. I mean, here we are, you and I, you know, we've got our dreams and our goals. I always thought we could get them together. We will. Now you're talking about moving out. That's all right, I know what this is about. What do you mean? You're ashamed of me. You know, you got all these new friends at college and you don't want to bring them home. I know what that's about. The whole thing. Mom. That's so far from the truth. It has nothing to do with you, Mom. Please don't please don't cry. Oh, what, what what is it? What's the problem? Because I can fix it. I mean, I can change anything. Mom, why do you have to make such a big deal of this? Don't you trust me to live on my own? Of course I trust you. Why wouldn't I trust you? you? You've always been a good girl. Please. You have. Maybe I'm not the good little girl that you think I am. You are. You always have been. That's never changed. So Mike just took it up and left. I guess this is the right time to tell me I told you so. I wouldn't do that. Why not? I honestly thought you could make a difference to him. Mike used to idolize you so much when you were little. I really hoped he listened to you. The problem is I tried to make him who I thought he should be. Instead of just let him be who he is. But he's not even Mike. He calls himself Stowe. Can you believe that? I mean, what kind of name is Stone? I'm sorry. You tried to tell me. You warned me. That's because he put me through the same thing. 
Only it took longer and he ended up lying and stealing from my parents before he finally cleared out of our lives. I guess, I guess it hurts more than I realized. But it had to turn out like this. I mean, with the way Mike is now, how else could it end? It's been five years. I mean, I was fooling myself trying to get him back. I should have listened to you. I know why you didn't. You wanted to be with Mike. You wanted to help him. I didn't expect anything less than that from you. Really? I know I was just a little kid, Jagger. But I remember how you were. Yeah, I, mean, I never wanted to go to bed in there. Remember that? Okay, so I was a brat. <laughs> You never let anything hurt us. You went after what you wanted, and you always knew what was best for us. I thought it did. Yeah, well, either way, it was a lot more than our own mother ever gave us. And it made me feel safe. Anyway, I just really wanted you to know that. You know... I don't know how much I needed to hear that. I'm glad you came. I do know. And as far as Mike's concerned, maybe you should just learn to do what I've done. What's that? I keep the happy memories of the Mike we knew when we were all together. And the guy he's turned into? Well, I just try to tell myself he doesn't exist. got a minute? Oh, sure. What can I do for you? You're pretty familiar with Monica's caseload, aren't you? More or less. I'm uh, interested in a patient she had recently, a guy. His name was Rod. Oh, Rod, Rod, Rod. Oh, gee, sorry. Now I know. Um, is there a reason why you need to know about this man? No, no just curious. No big deal. Oh. I'm sorry. That's okay. Thanks, anyway. Bobby, hi. Hi. Oh, hey, you too. Anything new with Tiffany? No, I'm afraid not. Oh, she still hasn't talked to anyone yet? It's so painful to see her like this. We were both pretty upset about it ourselves. I'm beginning to wonder if maybe Tony was right. About what? Let's sit down. You know, besides Sean, I'm the only one who knew that Jessica was pregnant. And I wonder if... I had a right to keep that a secret. How do you couldn't have known what would happen? Well, that's what kills me, not knowing. If only I told Tony. Look, we have to ask you something. Now, you were the last person to see uh, Sean and Tiffany the night of the murder together, right? As far as I know. Did you happen to see Jessica with Tiffany? Not that day. Tiffany was here for a session with Gail. What about Jessica? Well... Jessica said that she wanted to check out Ryan Chamberlain's security. But I think all she really wanted was to make Sean's life miserable. When was the last time you saw Sean that night? Sean came to see me right after Tiffany left the hospital. Jessica had threatened to tell Tiffany about the pregnancy. Sean had been putting her off for weeks, and he was trying to find the right time to tell Tiffany himself. But there's never any right time for something like that. And he realized that the whole thing was about to blow up in his face. I have never seen him so upset. No, oh, no, he hasn't been himself lately, that's for sure. That's because Jessica never let up on him. Not for a minute. No wonder he exploded when he found out that Jessica was going to get to Tiffany before he could stop her. She really was turning the screws on him, huh? Oh, big time. You know what's ironic? Before she left the hospital, Tiffany had told me that she was going to ask Sean to move back in. She wanted them to be together. Oh, you're kidding. She was so happy and so full of hope. And then Jessica has to drop this bomb on her. Can you imagine how devastated she must have been? Or angry. Or furious. Maybe even full of rage. What are you saying?
just he's not capable of murdering anyone. And Sean is? Well, I didn't mean it that way. Why do you think Sean confessed so quickly? I don't know. Look, Scotty tried to get Sean to change his plea to temporary insanity. He wouldn't even consider it. Mac and I figured that the only reason why Sean is being so stubborn is because he's covering for Tiffany. Well, I hate to say this, but it makes sense. Sean's first instinct would be to protect Tiffany at all costs, even his own freedom. Yeah, well, that's exactly what we're afraid of. But all of the evidence points to Sean. He set it up that way. If, Sh if anybody knows what a crime scene looks like, it's Sean. We're just trying to figure out what happened that night, that's all. Oh, gosh. Well, I suppose you do have to get to the bottom of it, but... Oh, wow. Well, it does turn out to be Tiffany. Poor Tiffany. We're just taking it one step at a time, okay? Obviously, we don't want this getting out to anyone else, so if uh, you could just keep it in the family, just you and Tony. Of course. If you think of anything else, let us know. I'll call you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. to getting out of here. Well, I just may be stuck here for a while. In fact, I may have to hide out in my office tonight. Why? Because hopefully Alan thinks I have a date, so I can't exactly go home. Oh, good. Well, by the way, your plan is working. Why do you say that? Because Alan came by and wanted to know about a certain patient of yours named Rod. What did you say? Rod? Rod who? Oh, that doesn't sound familiar. <laughs> I mean, let's just say he wasn't through. Well, now I really can't go home on you. If anybody sees me and then tells him, ugh. Well, why don't you come over to my house? Uh, what about Tony? And Tony's not home, and I'd love the company. He's out of town. You sure you don't mind being partners in crime here? It's a little late for that, isn't it? <laughs> Are you sure that you really want to do this? What, make Alan jealous? Sure, why wouldn't I? Be careful. These things can snowball on you. Listen, the ball is already rolling. I mean, you said so yourself. The plan is working. Alan's suspicious. I hope it's worth it. Of course it is. As long as it keeps him away from Rhonda. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm all right. Well, actually, my sweet tooth is screaming at me, and I can't resist uh, Ruby's desserts. Key lime pie. It's great. How do you know you haven't touched it? Well, it's always good. Yeah. You sure? Absolutely. I'm not hungry. Why'd you order it? Ah, uh, another question without an answer. Are you all right? Yeah, sure. Uh, it's nothing. Okay. Well, you don't have to talk to me about it if you don't want to. But if you do want to, I am a hell of a listener. I know you are. She got me good this time. Who? Monica. I think she's having an affair with somebody. Isn't that rich? Are you sure? No, I haven't actually caught her in the act, but I see all the signposts. What are you going to do? I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. Well, you'll find your way. Mm. Listen, I've got these, um... I've got these uh, two tickets for the opera tonight. Uh, would you and Karen like to use them? Oh, I don't think Karen's very eager to spend any time with me. You got more problems? Nope, same old ones. Well, an evening at the opera, I mean, that'll take you out of all your troubles. What about that, what about that guy? You could go with that guy, uh, Ray. Hey, listen, I really appreciate it, but, um, I don't really picture myself at the opera. Have you ever been to the opera? Never. Do you like music? I love music. You don't know what you're missing. I saw Peter and the Wolf when I was seven years old. I'm telling you, I was absolutely hooked. Sounds a little stuffy. Oh, no, 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 it's anything but stuffy. It's, it's, it's passionate and it's romantic and it's, it's absolutely magical. 
I mean, when you go there, you get totally lost, and everything else in the world it just kind of disappears. I could use a little bit of that right now. I could, too. Will you go with me? Um, well, sure. It, it sounds better than Disneyland. It's going to be here in a minute. I ordered it 15 minutes ago. It's right over there. Well, thanks for telling me. This is cold and soggy. Well, fine. I'll make another one. Okay? Good idea. What are you leaving? <gasps> Jagger, this isn't going to work. I told you I'm going to make him another one. I'm not talking about that. I mean us. Here, we have to work together, and we've been like this all day, and I can't stand it. Is this about yesterday? Because if it is, you were right, okay? You were absolutely right. I shouldn't have butted in in your relationship with your brother. You got that right. And I'm sorry. Forget it. I just know that you're hurting. I, I said, wanna... forget it. You see, that's exactly the kind of attitude that drove Stone away. His name is Mike. What the hell do you know about him? Nothing. I just... I just know how you get when you're hurt. This is amazing, you know that? First you say you're sorry for budding my business, and then you turn it around and start all over again. I'm not doing that, Jagger. D don't you have a better things to do than start judging me all the time? I'm not judging you. I was just concerned. Oh, I appreciate that. Or maybe you should take a look at your own relationships before you start looking at mine. Wait a minute, what are you talking about? For example, your mother coming here all the time crying because she can't have a normal conversation with you. This isn't about my mother. Then what is it about? I was just trying to help you. Don't want your help. I can't stop thinking about what Robin said. About what? About not hearing any arguing between Sean and Jessica, even though the door was opened. I know. Sean had struck Jessica in the heat of the moment. Which is, which is what he said happened. Well, she would have heard something. I mean, some kind of yelling or struggle, anything, Mac. And if he was in the rage that he described, I mean, once he saw Jessica, he knew there would be an argument, so he would have shut the door. How about what she said about his state of mind? That he was completely calm. It just doesn't track. Someone who committed a, a murder seconds before is that calm and collected. Felicia, he staged the whole thing. And don't forget, he knew Robin was coming. Right, and then he found Jessica's body, made it look like he was the one that did it, and then he made Robin his material witness. Well, we're certainly not talking ourselves out of this theory, are we? Why should we? It's pretty clear to me that Sean's trying to protect Tiffany. Yeah, I know. What do we do now? We're gonna figure out how Sean manipulated the evidence. We're gonna reconstruct what happened the night Jessica was murdered. much going on. You know, I, I get home from the club and I'm so buzzed I can't even sleep. And then by the time I get to sleep, it's time to get up again. It's driving me nuts. Well, that's uh, easy to fix. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, Sonny. What? You need your sleep, right? You can't operate on one cylinder, babe. Okay? 
These will just settle you down a little bit. I, I got them from a doctor friend. He takes them all the time. from lack of sleep. This one here has someone's name on it. What, what? Why don't you take a wild guess? Ray? Is he upsetting you? How could he not? You don't understand, when he came in my room this morning, I felt like I was ten. And my mother still wasn't there to protect me. Oh, why would she? She likes the guy. Oh, that makes me so sick. You know what he said to me? Hmm. He said that the truth is... is that I always wanted it. And I should just admit it. Even so, you know... It's history now. You should just put it behind you. I don't understand. If he's right, Sonny, why am I so terrified about having sex? When it's the right guy, you won't be terrified. I don't know. Carry your stuff and uh, I'll be with you in a second. Um, Jagger. Listen, I overheard Gina saying to you that maybe you should hold on to your old memories of Mike and just let the rest go. Yeah, that's what she said. Look, I was the one who told you to be patient and take it one day at a time, you know? Yeah, I remember. Maybe I was wrong. I mean, just this once. Maybe you should do what Gina does and just pretend like Mike doesn't exist. I remember Mike was little, too. And I love him. No matter how much it hurts, I can't just write him off. All right. Look, you do what you have to do, okay? Follow your heart. It's what I do.
has to get to Tiffany before Jessica does. But he can't find either one of them, so he goes back to his hotel, and Jessica's already there. And already dead. I mean, Sean instantly must have figured that Tiffany and Jessica had it out somehow. During the argument, Tiffany killed her. Using the candlestick. Had to be the murder weapon. What about the fingerprints? He wiped them off. I mean, he probably wiped everything down. He wiped the prints off the candlestick and put his prints on it. Then Robin walked in. Can you think of a better material witness? No, I can't. Where do you think Tiffany was during all this? She took off, panicked. Yeah, but she had no idea that he was covering for her, right? Right. Yeah, but remember what Sean said when we got to the hotel. I mean, all he cared about was that we find Tiffany and tell her what he'd done. He didn't... He didn't want Tiffany blowing his story by confessing to the murder herself. Except he had no idea that she was in the state that she was in. She couldn't confess to anybody. It all fits together. It's a hell of a theory. Now all we gotta do is prove it. 